Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Now, when we left off, we had attempted to actually destroy one of the Yellow Faction's star bases, or technically to capture it. That was a mistake. A rather big mistake. But we now have the opportunity to attack him in open ground in our own system. Now, this is the thing. He has 73 threat, and we have... 74 so he is going to be extremely difficult to take out isn't he but we are going to be attempting to take him out nevertheless so let's do it i was hoping that one of my captains might turn up but no no of course not but this should be relatively simple oh a zombie ambush really okay so the zombies are actually attacking the enemy so i'm i'm pretty good with that i i'm pretty fine with that that's absolutely fine this guy is actually starting to, is he running are you running are you seriously running? Uh, I I will not allow you to run. I'm sorry. I'm I'm coming after you. I'm boosting. Yes. Okay. Let's get my ion beam going on here. Yes. We really need to get this guy to get take his shields down. Okay. I'm gonna try and bump him out the way. Let's do this. Okay. Come on. Get out of there. Yes. Yes. That's what you get. That is what you get. Okay. Come on now. Okay. So this should be relatively easy, surely. Hopefully. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so the zombie is actually... <laughs> the zombie is still alive. Not entirely sure why the zombie ship is still alive, but apparently that is that is indeed a problem. That is indeed a problem. I do want to just kill this guy first because he's, he's going to escape and it's going to just be me and the zombie and I don't really want that. So let's just try and get that happening. Okay, my... Unfortunately, my... Yes, my shields are now down. And I have been recommended by some of you to actually get more shields, and I might just do that. But right now I'm just concentrating on taking this guy out and seeing what we can do. I'm gonna try and get my shields back up. I'm gonna try and just stay out of range for now. And we're just gonna bombard them from distance, because that's basically all I can do right now. I'm just gonna be very, very tactical and everything. I'm gonna try and see if I can eliminate Maneater from here. I am bombarding the zombie ship a little bit too much for my liking. There we go. Maybe we can actually take out this guy now. Yes. Yes. Kill him. There we go. He is down. Excellent. And now we can take out the zombie ship. And we have shields still remaining. So that's absolutely fine. And we still have ammo. This is really the distance where I should be, to be honest. This is the perfect distance, in my opinion. Because we are literally out of range of anything that the zombies can do to us. As far as I'm aware, at least. And, well, it seems to be the most effective, anyway. So there we go, we took out one of the best enemy units that we've so far seen. What is that? Active Infection? Yeah, probably not going to be taking that, thank you very much. But I am going to be taking this. Thank you. I'm going to take this as well. I'm not going to be taking that. I'm kind of a bit worried about it, to be honest. Because what if we take that and then it infects the other parts of us? Is that, is that what it does? I have no idea. Elsa, now you're really starting to piss me right off. I'm trying so hard to save lives, to end this war, this strife, and here you are trying to martyr yourself like a moth to the flame. Yes, exactly. Well, rising up to stamp out pieces of garbage like yourself is what makes is what us humans do best, apparently. You shouldn't have underestimated us. You picked the wrong side of this war. You always were a loser, and I'm going to make sure the whole universe knows it. Let's post on Facebook about it. Look, let me be honest with you. I detest that ship, that crew, taking orders, for Void's sake. I was a ranking admiral of the UTA before being a babysitter for a bunch of misfits. I would love nothing, I would love for nothing more than to see that ship burn. Also, the only reason I don't vaporize you is solely out of respect for you alone. You are the only one on that ship that can be considered a human being. I'd hate for you to end up being a casualty in all of this, but I'm giving you a fair warning. Push this any further and a casualty is all you will ever amount to. I don't think so. I, I don't think so at all, because I uh, I am commanding the ship, and that means we're going to die many times, but in the end, we will be rather well off. And there we go, we are now level 28. I have been questioned repeatedly regarding why unchosen underhancements are not readily available upon follow-up allocations. It would take me more time than the universe has been in existence to explain the science to it, or of it, anyway. Increases reload speed. Thank you very much. I like that. So, we get a bounty payout as well of 8,000 scrap because apparently that guy had a bounty on him. And we're going to scavenge a couple of things too. There we go. Is it infected? No, I don't think it's infected. And that's actually a pretty nice fighter craft, I think it was. And that has an active infection. No, we're not going to be doing that. Thank you very much. Can I? Yeah, there we go. I can actually stop looting it. 
Let's just say, for the sake of humor, you were able to make it all the way here, past my armada of ships, and put an end to my so-called reign of terror. Then what? Happily ever after? You can't be that naive. The res, the infection, humanity, the void itself, it's all connected. Without a counterforce, life itself will grow and devour everything. There won't be nothing left to eat by the end of it. Not a second thought will be given to the boneyard left behind. What kind of organism does that sound like to you? I am in agreement that the sheer unwashed masses can be disgusting and repulsive. However, as troublesome as these meat husks may be, you have no right to extinguish humanity as a whole. It is beneath me to prepare my own sustenance, among a variety of other tasks. Therefore, I require these husks to be at my beck and call at all times. This is something that I cannot allow you to take from me. What he said. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Okay, so let's head on over here. Let's repair our ship. Thank you very much. Collect a stockpile. And I think we're going to be funding the expansion. There we go. We now have a pretty decent threat here. And let's actually raid something. I'm going to raid the... Oh, we are actually already raiding that. I suppose I, I could just do it many times over, I suppose. But that's absolutely fine. Let's just do that. Now, I would like to trade a little bit. I'm going to sell some of the things that we currently don't need. I am actually going to use this at some point, so I'm going to leave it on us right now. And, oh, this has actually an active infection. I need to sell that right away. But I don't want to sell it here. So, what what can I actually do with this? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I, I actually have no idea. I mean, I'm just going to see what's going on there. I mean, there's nothing really else that I can do. Hopefully it's not actually damaging me. Is it damaging me? I don't know, but... Ah, Carl, how are we coming along with those projections in actual fact? I'm getting anxious to go on the offensive for a change. Find it within yourself to summon a sliver of patience. My cerebrum is already overclocked trying to calculate our odds of survival come lunchtime. Let alone the outcome of this entire war, we are simply not yet prepared to assault the central infection. You will never be ready, nor will you ever see the victory you strive for. Everything you could possibly hope to accomplish here is pointless in the end. You say that now, but soon enough I'll be spitting on your smoldering corpse. I've killed the dark entity once already, so you could say I am a veteran zombie slayer by now. You, on the other hand, still have your apocalypse training wheels on. Oh yes, what, a, what an amazing sentence. Elsa, you can't kill something that feeds on death. This infection, it is the anti-life. It is the counter to the ungoverned multiplication of biology. While life evolves simply through living, this infection does quite the opposite. The harder you fight against it, the more it iterates and evolves. You destroy the dark entity only to give rise to its successor, in me. If you destroy me, what do you think will come after? Consider your actions carefully, Elsa, before you proceed any further down this road. Oh, yes. Okay, so... We're going to be heading on over to the orange faction here. I'd like to sell that particular piece of equipment. I don't really want to be... Well, shall we say, lugging that around because it has an infection on it and I kind of just want to sell it as best I can. So thank you very much for that. Ooh, we have two times miniguns here. Oh, that's actually pretty... Oh, wait a minute. I think that's actually better than what I have. Is it actually better than what I have? Let's actually take a look here. That would be amazing. It is technically. It is technically better. So I'm actually going to buy that and we're going to see what it's actually like because it might be utter garbage. Okay. There you go. Okay, so what does that actually do to our threat? 76 threats, so that's actually improved it by a reasonable margin, so I suppose that's pretty okay. And yeah, I guess we're now we're going to head over here, and we're going to try and build this star base. It's about time that we actually build another star base, isn't it? Because right now, oh no. Do you really want to know what the dark entity is? Where it came from? It's just a non-corporeal alien life form. While its quantum frequency matter makeup may seem like magic to the limited scientific understanding of humanity... It is anything but a god. There are a time where billions of these creatures roam the universe, devouring res to advance, not unlike we have done. You, of course, should know all this by now. You did help repair the ancient alien gate that allowed us to destroy the dark entity. Who do you think built them in the first place? You are perpetually incorrect, stupid, and ugly as usual. Why would such an advanced alien species not only engineer their own destruction, but leave such a tool behind for others to use against them? 
because when the dark entity manifested itself to them, it would have been something else, something less advanced, something they could overcome. I'm sure for a time, these aliens relished in a false victory over the darkness, but like you are witnessing now, evolution can happen faster than you can blink. The entity inherited their form, using it to obliterate them. In death, it grew stronger, just like they had done. You destroyed the entity from a time forgotten, forcing it to adapt. Now I am its revision. I am its evolution. Okay, so he has delusions of grandeur. Nothing that a few billion gigaliters of bleach won't clean up. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, so let's head on over here and try and get the Karina capital. There we go. Build that. Yes, that's absolutely fine. There we go. Okay, so what are we going to go for? Some, some shields, I suppose. I think some shields would actually be pretty good. Let's do that. Get that built, there we are, and we're going to be, actually, should I give it to someone else? I think we're going to give it to another person here. I'm going to give it to Captain Emo Jane, I think, yes. You know you can't stop this. This is the nature of the universe itself. Would you rather this new age be ushered in by the will of an extinct alien race, or whatever forsaken incantation succeeds me? At least now, there is some humanity governing the process. We don't have to wipe the slate clean. We can save a lot of people. How many are going to die because you are before you are satisfied? How many will you cull like cattle? That doesn't sound very human like to me. In fact, I'm so bloody sick of hearing you beep out your mouth. I simply can't stand it a second longer. Computer, block all incoming transmissions from this IP address. Why you didn't do that ages ago is beyond the calculation ability of 9000's operating system. You have wasted precious time allowing yourself to be antagonized. You are far too pretty to be making decisions that affect galactic continuity. Skid, I am going to pound your nodes into a pancake with a red brick the next time you... Uh, forget it. Talking to you is like pissing gasoline onto a campfire. Gaso what? <laughs> Of course, they don't know. They don't know about it. Okay, so let's head on in here. We're going to fund the expansion for Captain Emo Jane a little bit, get the threat up somewhat. And I think that's going to be enough. Uh, 8 out of 12 is always fine. Send a capital transport here. No, I'm not going to be doing that right now. That's absolutely fine. Relocate your faction headquarters to this base. No, that's absolutely fine too. So there we go. 39 threat. That's pretty good. And now we are, of course, just going to be continuing to wage war against the yellow faction as much as we can. I think we're going to take out Mr. Wiznard. Call waiting? What's the, what, what, what is call waiting? Oh, no. Your voicemail inbox has run out of available memory. You have 359 unread messages from... Pick up the phone, Elsa. Push 1 to listen to all 359 messages, or push 7 to delete all 359 messages. 7? Where is that bloody 7 key? I just can't seem to push it fast enough or hard enough. Jameson is likely losing his easily perplexed mind, contemplating the possibility of his defeat. That single and solitary fact fills me with orgasmic pleasure. Oh yes, I'm sure it does. Look at his face. Look at his face. That is insane. Okay, so, call waiting. What does that mean? Your faction is pretty awesome. Can I be a member? Where can I sign up? Okay, so, yes, you want to... You want to be a member. Hmm, okay. Sure. Why not? And Raven Queen? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, you can also be a member. I actually don't know what the downside of accepting them is. So I guess we'll just find out, won't we? So let's attack Mr. Wiznard, shall we? Okay, so let's fight him. And apparently we're fighting alongside the Orange Faction as well. I think we might actually want to make an alliance with the Orange Faction just to wipe out the Yellows. Maybe that would be an idea. Hopefully there's... Uh, of course. I was going to say, hopefully there's no zombie infection ambush thing going on, but no, there's just regular infections all over the place here, so I suppose that there is that. Going to try and stay out of the way as much as possible, as usual. Just going to bombard them from reasonable distance. And again, I actually really would love to make a mass driver ship, but I haven't seen any mass driver parts at all, so it's kind of a bit disappointing to me, but... Yeah, what can you do? Sometimes you just can't do that. Oh, this guy's running for it, isn't he? What an amazingly terrible individual. I'm going to try and push him out of the way if I can. Come on, let's get him. Come on, push him out of the way. Yes, there we go. We, we succeeded in pushing him out of the way. That's fantastic. 
Okay, so unfortunately, now I am in the thick of things, which is not exactly where I wanted to be, but it will have to do. It will have to do for now. He's reloading! Oh, what a pitiful soul he is. And in about five seconds, I'm going to be reloading as well. Yes, of course. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to focus our fighters on this guy because literally I don't want them focusing anything else right now. I think our other captain can... Oh, no, never mind. Apparently everyone's using pulses right now. We're, we're just using pulses and our allied captain is also using pulses. So that's pretty good. Apparently everyone seems to think that they're pretty decent. But again, I would love to get some mass driver cannons going on here. But unfortunately that's not the case right now anyway. Maybe we'll be able to find some at a later point. But obviously right now that's not possible. But yeah, we just need to eliminate one more of these zombies here. Is that one of my ships? I hope that's not one of my ships. I'm going to try and defend it by blocking any missiles that go toward it, but... Oh, yes, of course, more zombies over here. Hopefully some of these ship parts will not be infected by the zombie menace. I think that actually only happens when the zombie ambushes you and stuff like that, but we'll see. Yep, uh, that appears to be the case. So there we go. Very nice indeed. As much as 9,000 does not respect any of you in the slightest, I must say it has been amusing watching you manipulate a flood of sheep to slaughter themselves before you consider putting yourself in any danger. 9,000 tips 9,000's hat to your skills of deceit. You're all truly horrible people. 10 out of 10 would cleanse galaxy again. <laughs> uh, he is amazing. He is actually very, very funny. Let's not mix words. We all hate each other. But that's what makes us the best of friends, I think. Regardless, we wouldn't all be here if we all didn't suck it up. I know you all could have un offloaded at the nearest port, and I know I'm not the easiest person to get along with. Whatever happens next, I just want you all to know how immeasurably proud I am of each of you. If we don't make it through the coming storm, then it's been an honor. If we do make it through this, you all owe me around at the pub, uh, Captain's Orders. And what is Carl going to say? He's going to say something amusing, no doubt. Oh, no, no oh, oh, apparently he's, uh, yes. What is this, a Saturday morning cartoon? You really think this is going to wrap up into a happy ending? You know I really can't stand to see you struggle with this any longer. You know where I live. You come on by when you are ready to settle this face to face. And our objectives are, of course, to confront Jameson and be prepared for a fight. Level 30 recommended, which is actually where we are almost at. We have actually just advanced to level 29, so that's great. And yes, we will now, I think... I don't know. I, I I think trading is going to be good. Why not? Let's do that a little bit. Okay. So there we have it. That is it for this episode. And next time we'll probably try to wage a little bit more war against the yellows. Maybe make ourselves a little bit stronger before we engage Jameson. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. <laughs>